This is the maxi track Drury. It's got a two kilowatt power car, an extra battery car, and then the rest of the wagons for seating. So the loco is completely self-contained, doesn't have any batteries in it, just weights. You've got two plugs that plug into the rear of it from the controller. So you have one control plug. And you have a secondary master control lead. So once all your batteries are in place, you throw the main switch which powers to the loco. So you can do the trip switches. Once all your batteries are in place, you put on those three trip switches which will bring some life into the controller. You switch the main switch, that will put the power through to the locomotive. It won't start if it's not in the neutral position. Key switch on, forward, green LED, reverse, green LED. Your voltage on the top and the ampage that the, uh, the loco is using and the, uh, uh, the wagons are using. So that's now running in forward speed. When you want to brake the system, use the regen braking on the loco which will cut the power on it. Bring the regen back to the restart. It won't drive off again until you reset it. Start again. If you just turn the regen on one click, it coasts right the way up to full braking. So in an emergency, when you want to do a full braking, you twist that all the way up to the top. That sucker's not going anywhere. Bring it back down, reset, the speed controller to the zero position and it will start up again. When you want to go into reverse, switch it into reverse and it works exactly the same way. And you've got a horn. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, the last thing is the braking. So once you're in the station and you want to apply the braking, you have apply. which will apply a handbrake that's now on. When you want to release the brake, pull it back. Brakes will now be off. So this is the train braking, this is the locomotive and driving car braking. They're two separate braking systems. So think of this as a handbrake, that is regen braking on the model. And when you're done, you can turn the control off. Still tells you what ampage you've got left in your batteries, what voltage you're running, 49.4. It should be a bit higher than that. The batteries aren't 100% charged. And then when you want to kill the main loco, you've got the big switch on this side. Zero voltage. And then you lift the seat up, throw your trip switches, it's completely dead. So you have four batteries in each of the riding cars all attached using the same method. So there are two cables, just plus is red, minus is black. And you can drop these onto them once they're in position and then you just plug that in. You should have a series of one, two, three, four. And then in the second riding car over here, you have the next four. One, two, three, four. In the front of this riding car, you have a separate MCB circuit breaker here. So once they're all in position, switch that over. Plug in your jumper cable. Plug in your braking cable. All of these are color coded. Then you come through, 
assuming all your batteries are in place you throw all your LC uh, MCBs over and that will make everything live the last thing you need to do is switch the actual kill switch on this side to power the model and at that point everything should be live a couple of bars are important You've got to get them in the right positions and you bolt them through on the inside of the chassis so the bolt runs right the way through it's the same on all of the different bodies once you have them in position put the nylock bolt on the bottom of it do that nylock bolt up there's no way they're going to come apart attach up your braking cable and you're ready to go